Hey la, and welcome to Coffee with Avila. I'm Aviana Lemaire, and here I talk about neurodivergence as an autistic and ADHDer and greater living for all of us because it needs to apply to all of us. And I want to talk quickly about one another potential difference for us in manifestation, something that I have noticed from personal experience. So I have heard many times the metaphor of looking for birds before land as a sign of your manifestation. You've decided what you want to manifest, you've put it out there. People will say that looking for birds before land can be a good thing because it means that you're getting signs that what you want is coming. And I've heard a lot of people saying that it's a bad thing because it means you're in a state of desire. Now, as an autist, I'm a person for whom words have a meaning. You have to explain to me in what way you mean this because there can be many meanings. Desire for the majority of people in the manifestation community seems to automatically mean I am in lack. It seems to be a synonym for lack or a sensation of just lack. I'll leave it at that as ordered in order to avoid being confusing myself. I hear people and they say desire. Here's the problem. When I use the word desire, I'm looking at a set of watercolors right now. I ordered this for myself for my birthday. There are about 50 colors. I really wanted a bunch of watercolors. And when I got this set, I desired it before I got it because I wanted all these colors. After I got it and began swatching it, which I just recently did, I really desired it because I started to see how gorgeous all of these colors are. So I have it and I still have the desire. It's very much like falling in love and wanting the person that you're with. You still might have, if this is how your relationship works, you still might have a burning desire for them, but that doesn't mean it's because you don't have them. So when I am looking for signs of a manifestation, it doesn't necessarily mean that my desire for that manifestation is an unhealthy thing that means I don't have it. It means I'm looking for signs of something because I truly believe that I might find some signs. And for me, that means that I actually believe the manifestation is coming or that it's possible and it's real. I've also heard the metaphor of placing an order where if you place an order from a store, such as I did with the paints, you just place the order and you let it come. I'm going to say this quickly. The camera is really heavy and I'm just holding it up. The metaphor is when you place an order from a store, you place the order and you believe that that thing will come. You don't look for it anymore because you have faith that it will come. But for me, when I place an order, as I did with these paints, I will definitely look. I will check tracking repeatedly <laughs> because I am really excited to see shipping updates and to see more proof that it's coming. To see that it's shipped and see that it's on its way and how close it is. It makes me feel a little less insane in my waiting process, like I'm the only one in the world who gets it and like it's not actually coming. So in real life, when I'm placing an order with the universe for my manifestation and I'm checking for signs, I'm not putting excess energy of it, on it and coming from a place of lack. I'm coming from a place of true belief that it's actually taking place. I don't know if that's the ADHD brain and the fact that I don't want to wait for it and it's kind of torture to do so. I have no idea. All I know is for my brain, when I'm looking, it is not proof that I don't have it. It's part of the only proof that I do. The only time when I don't look for something I want is when I know it's not coming. So for me, if I'm manifesting and not even bothering to look, it's because I'm so mentally worn out that I can't, which is not a good place for me to be in, or it's because I 100% don't even believe anymore that it's possible. So for some of us, it just means a different thing. If, as is always the case, it's about what you intend and what it means to you. So if you know that when you're looking, it's because you're in a happy state of desire and you're excited because you believe this manifestation can come or because you're busy, as some people like to say repeatedly, feeling it real because it gives you that happy feeling, then maybe you should keep looking and just write off all this stuff that's making your manifestation harder than it needs to be for your brain. So if you have any thoughts, leave comments. I'd love to hear the thoughts and it helps my station when you interact. If you got any use, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you get more notifications when I upload more videos. That's about it. Bye now.